Nestled along the pristine shore in Sarasota County lies a retreat with a taste of old Florida. Built in 1907, the Hermitage is a time capsule for pioneer beachfront homesteading and now offers a peaceful place for artists to escape and create new work. Find out how this idyllic setting with its natural coastal landscape makes for the perfect creative refuge. Well, it's so important for artists to be able to have time to reflect and to also go inward because so much of our work is about putting out. So to have uninterrupted time in a place, to make work, of course, but also to reflect on what you've done and to be, to be critical of yourself and of, of what you've been doing, but to do it in a kind of environment where you, you have the expanse of the ocean. You also have the expanse of time and of being left entirely alone. It's life-changing. And it's um, not just inspiring, it's, it's actually, I, I think it needs to be part of the well-being of all artists. The Hermitage is a cross-disciplinary artist retreat. So we invite people from all walks of art, that's visual art, music, theater, uh, poetry, novelists. We have uh, a real plethora of talents that pass through this incredible campus. The Hermitage is about nine acres. There is the historic campus with five buildings for the artists to do their work. And then adjacent to that is a preserve, which is natural land, which we're taking back to how it was a hundred years ago. There's something more to this place than just a building. There's feeling and spirit here that people catch right away. My real love is asking the question, what will our cultural traditions of the future be? And how can I, as a flutist in this lifetime, advance those traditions and experiment with them and push them beyond what we know? And so for that reason, I am passionate about creating a new body of work. So I'm working right now um, and this week here at the Hermitage Artist Residency. I'm in the year seven of a 23 year project. And each year I create a new program of, uh, of solo flute music. Most of my prose books have taken me to different parts of the world, but this one is set in this country. It's a biography of Roger Williams, the very famous Puritan divine who gave us the whole notion of uh, liberty of conscience and the separation of church and state. He also happened to be my first relative in the New World, so it's a kind of homecoming for me to write this book. I came to the Hermitage Artist Retreat as a gift in a lot of ways for my career from the Aspen Music Festival in school. I get to spend six weeks here uh, over a two-year period, and it's kind of unique in that I get to divide it up however I want. I actually did two weeks uh, in May of 2019, and now I'm here for the whole first four weeks of 2020. Well, one of the really cool things about this place is that you can kind of have the best of both worlds in terms of being solitary, but you can also come here to the main house and cook a meal and do a studio visit, see what other people are working on. There's no curation of those encounters, like those just happen. And I think because they're so open, because they're so organic, often you get a bunch of creative people in the room and of course they start hatching projects. Today I found myself in a conversation with Sid, our composer, and uh, noting the, the, the sheer number of correspondences between what a composer does and what a writer does. We're working the same fields but with a different, in a different medium. The only similar experience we want our artists to have is that they feel that they have had a chance to breathe and elevate their work and move themselves or their work forward as artists. We hear over and over from artists that they accomplish more in two weeks than they might in two years. But we want them to all feel that they are entering a magical haven here on this Hermitage campus and also by participating in the community give back programs that they're really building a connection with Sarasota County. So when I was negotiating with the county government for this land and these old dilapidated houses, they said, well, these 
writers and composers and visual artists are going to be there, make their art and leave. What are they going to do for the people of Sarasota County? And I said, they will all do something free in the community. And that started the tradition of free performances. Usually it's here on the beach at sunset or in our beautiful performing arts space, the Palm House. I can't tell you how many times I get the same story. They'll say, I was stuck on this scene in a play. I took a walk, I found some shark's teeth. I came back, I sat down at my desk and the answer came to me. Our lives are so busy back in the real world and to be able to carve out a, a vision of the book I'm trying to write, uh, it's absolutely invaluable. We have had nine Pulitzer Prize winners here, plus Emmy, Grammy, Tony Award winners. The seedling and the DNA of the work that is created here goes on elsewhere. There are so many works out there at major concert halls, theaters, galleries around the world that would not have existed if they did not have that germ of an idea right here at the Hermitage. For more information, visit hermitageartistretreat.org.